what is going on youtube it's your boy death wish man first of all i just want to say thank you for 100 subscribers man that shit is crazy i know it's not a lot but you know the channel is growing so i want to thank you guys hopefully in the future if i grow more i do want to do giveaways so i can you know give back to you guys so i'm taking off the grill i'm going to be using a, a 40 weight from now on because my car hit over 160 miles so i'm gonna use a thicker oil in the summer that is not in the winter here's everything that we have we have two braided hoses one is four feet the other one is five feet here is the thermostatic sandwich and then you have uh, two of these fittings which will bolt up to the hoses and to the sandwich plate and then some adapters here's the oil cooler so i did make a custom bracket i got this from lowe's and then i use a threader to make the threading inside the crash bar so now this will mount up higher so you can see it through the grill So I did add a little bit of thread locker to the bottom one and I will be adding a little bit uh, to this bolt just so it doesn't even loosen up with the vibration. And of course since oil will be running through these lines you want to put some threading so the oil does not leak. I use a blue monster. I also did have to cut these supports from these two front right there little fins so that the 90 degree angle can kind of fit through here because the hose was right there I've gone ahead and threaded the hoses the four foot hose go here and the five foot will go in here because you know it's way farther on this side so that's why it needs to be longer and you do want to make sure you don't strip this I did wrap it maybe around three times with the tape Got the G on the stands. So yeah, this is how the hose will be routed from the bottom going towards the filter. So now we're under the car, just gonna take out the oil, of course. Fifty bucks wasted. Yep, we got a problem. So, on the actual G35 and 350... God damn it, bro. On the actual G35 and 3, 350Z oil cooler from the side, everything is the same, though. The lines, the sizing. The only thing that's different on that set is it's a 90-degree angle so that the hoses can, you know, go up top or higher. But this, you know, that's going to be scraping the floor. So can't use that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order the 90 degree uh, fittings. I'm still gonna put the 40 weight oil and clean everything up. And then I will be back in a week or so when the fittings come through, man. I swear to God, it's always the same shit, man. Like you always do an easy install and it never goes right, man. One week later. All right, man, we are back again. So yeah, I couldn't route the intercooler, not the intercooler, the oil cooler, because since this is universal, uh, you know, it's not specific to the G35. So I had to waste 100 bucks on this. And yeah, there were about like uh, 50 for each of these. So that's gonna replace these two because you know, it's like a 90 degree. That way the hoses will be going upward so here is the part number just put some threading tape so not to get confused but the small threading is the one that will go to the uh, thermostat and the longer one will be the one that goes to the hoses i'm going to be using these uh adjustable ones so i don't know the actual like size for the socket of this 
it's a little bit more easier doing this but you're gonna put this in here and torque it down with this so as you can see uh right here this washer has a, a seal inside of it and i'm not done torquing this one down you can still see the tape but you want to torque it down until it reaches the entire bottom so you're going to put the sandwich plate with the logo facing the outside and then you're going to put the fitting for the adapter for the uh for the oil filter and i did put an o-ring on the outside it does not come with one and it does not say that you need to put one but since the oil filter is going to go there i was like man whether there's a chance it might leak because this is just you know it's just threading it's just being thread on there so there's no seal so that's what i put and yeah leave this loose for now just because you're going to adjust this to your liking i'm probably gonna put it this way that way if i'm ever doing the oil change i can take off the filter and the oil will not be spilling onto the hoses so good news i found the size that you will need to torque down the fitting there's a one in one sixteens, and this will also help you torque down the, the head of these fittings, these two. So I have torqued this down just slightly. You don't wanna mess it up, man. Now I'm going to be putting the filter. So as always, make sure that you add oil around the seal when you're putting the oil filter back. Mishimoto recommends that you put half a quart after installing the Tambro oil cooler. I will leave a screenshot in the video so you guys can check that out. So this is how I installed it, sideways. That way when I take off the uh, oil filter, you know, it's not gonna go in the hoses. But something, word of advice, you could put something right here while you're unscrewing it and then the next oil change. That way it doesn't go all here as well. But they go over from here around the rest port and I put zip ties this the top one there's a hole right right there in the rad support that's how I hook this one up and then I just put these two together goes up I push these back because the way if they're bent more back I can have more clearance with the mesh grill and then I did put some my voice is fucking cracked bro holy shit I put some tape that way it's not rubbing against this paint the fitting paint so it doesn't chip and look we just pulled up bro There's nuts everywhere he goes, man. <laughs> so something quick to note is the fuel pump is going to run the oil through the channel uh, all around the system into the filter housing through the lines and through the oil cooler. So there will be a dummy light on your dash. When you turn it on, that light will be on for about half a second, quarter second. And when that goes off, that means that the engine has been primed and you have oil pressure. All the oil has gone through the system, through the main bearings and everything. Waiting for Perry. So you see how that light went off? That means that the engine Waiting is for Perry. the engine is completely primed now. So something for advice: whenever you guys do your oil change, I would suggest that you unthread these back off and remove the old oil because 
clearly oil is still going to be inside the oil cooler and the lines i've been running it for about a week it's been good the leak gods are on my side the way you can tell if it's leaking is well clearly you see a leak but the threading is still blue and this one is slightly leaking it's not like oozing or anything but it's definitely got oil around it so i might have to go back and check on that yeah when you thread these you want to be careful like you know you want to hold it up and then wiggle it around so you know it's actually threading with your finger so this is how it looks like underneath so it clears perfectly there's no leaks looking beautiful So that's going to be for this video, guys. I do make more VQ content, so stay tuned for that. If you're new, definitely consider subscribing, man. I appreciate the support. Peace out.